It's one of the top auto shows in the world and one of the greenest. In fact, the 2011 Los Angeles Auto Show features more than 70 new fuel efficient green vehicles on display, which is why even exhibitors say it's fitting the event be held at the Los Angeles Convention Center, the largest convention center in the U.S. to receive lead status from the U.S. Green Building Council. When you look at the automotive industry, there's a real shift towards not only making cars that are fun and exciting to drive, but also kind to the environment. And we think it's only appropriate, given the fleet of green vehicles that we have going forward, that we showcase them in a facility that is kind to the environment as well. With 4.1 million square feet of exhibit space, the LACC uses 64% less energy per square foot than similar buildings its size across the country. Becoming efficient is one thing, but when you say doing the right thing, you're, you're addressing more than just energy categories. You're addressing, again, your surrounding, your hardscape, your water, your indoor air quality, the cleanliness of the facility. Everything that has to do with what I would call environmental impact on the community. A big part of the convention center going green was the demand that their clients wanted. Also, it's a big initiative for the city all the way up to the mayor for them to have green buildings. And the Los Angeles Convention Center is the first lead existing building gold that the city has had. According to the U.S. Green Building Council, the number of lead certified convention centers nearly doubled last year to 19. 52 additional convention centers are pursuing lead certification. Many, like the one in L.A., are utilizing building automation technologies from companies like Siemens in order to monitor and improve energy usage. We created uh, scheduling for every meeting room in every hall. So instead of having an operator remember to shut something down or to turn something on, once they know the, the room's going to be used, it's put into the schedule, it comes on right before use, and it turns on when the room's done. So we were able to reduce a lot of energy by just merely cutting the run times of the equipment, air handlers, chillers, based upon scheduling. Energy efficient lighting and strategically placed solar panels further drive down energy use. While these improvements come at a cost, especially at facilities like the LACC, which was retrofitted, not built from the ground up, energy savings translates into cost savings. So what's next for the LA Convention Center? The pursuit of LEED Platinum EB, the USGBC's highest certification, something the LACC says is entirely possible thanks in large part to the efficiencies they've already put in place. I'm Kate Brooks.